In this lesson, we're going to be adding the wiggle expression to our flower. Okay, so in our last lesson, we decided that it was going to be way too much work to try to get the flowers to look like they were swaying by adding lots of rotation keyframes. And we can do this a lot better by adding an expression, specifically the wiggle expression. So it's going to be added to the rotation property because this is the type of motion that we want to get. We just don't want to have to control it by hand. So with that still zeroed out and your rotation property visible, which you can do by selecting your layer and hitting the R key. You'll want to alt click the stopwatch. So I'm going to hold down alt and left click the stopwatch for rotation. Now it's automatically going to put in kind of this default for me for the expression. And I don't want you, if you for some reason have the wiggle expression memorized, I don't want you to use that one. I want to use the one from the expression language menu because a lot of times the one that people memorizes um, is the one that has the abbreviated version where you don't have the properties equaling uh, the numbers. So what do I mean there? I'm going to go over here to the expression language menu, which I can left click and it's going to give me this fly out. And you can see I go down to property and up to wiggle. And you can see how this is a lot longer than the wiggle expression you might use if you just did a parenthesis and numbers. Now, if you've never used this before, don't worry about that. We're just going to click this one and then we'll be able to define some values for how we want this to wiggle. So you can see that octaves equals one. So basically we want to treat the amplitude, which is amp, and the frequency the same way by putting a space equals space and then a number. So what numbers should we put in there? Well, first you have to know what frequency and amplitude control. Frequency is going to control how often. So in our case, how often is this going to wiggle? Amplitude is going to refer to how much. How much is it going to wiggle? So with that in mind, there's a couple other things we can think about. Frequency referring to how often means how many times per second. So for us, that's how many times every 30 frames. So let's put in a value of something like one, one time every second. So I'll put a space equals space one. Now for the amplitude, we're measuring in rotation. So that means we're measuring by degrees. So if we were doing this same expression on, let's say the transform uh, property where we're going to be uh, moving something, you know, up and down, side to side, that'd be measured in pixels. This being measured in rotation, rotation only has 360 degrees for it to move all of its possible ways. So because of that, rotations are going to give you a lot more movement in a wiggle than a pixel, something that's measured in pixels would. So keep that in mind. So let's say we want it to be able to move two degrees. So I'll put amplitude space equals two. Actually, we'll put another space between the equal and the two. Then I'll click away and that expression has now been added. So let's see what it looks like. I'm just going to start looking at it from right about here after this first animation is done. So I'll hit the B key to crop that work area and then we'll pull this out and let's just preview a small area. So you can see what that little sway looks like. It's very, very, very slight and subtle. So we may have underwhelmed this animation a little bit. I almost can't even tell and I'm zoomed in, you know, pretty close on this. So let's actually increase our values a little bit. I think that the frequency is probably okay. In fact, I think it could maybe even be a little bit less, but the amplitude needs to go up. So the degree of rotation, I'm going to increase to seven. So uh, let's see how that looks. I'm just going to click away and we'll watch this again. Just hitting that zero key to do our RAM preview. And that looks pretty good, but I think that it might even be going maybe a little fast. It's really not bad. You could leave it there if you wanted, but what do you do if you want your frequency to be less than one? 
you know, you if you put zero, it's not going to ever do it. So you'll want to put a decimal number in there that's less than one. So in my case, I would put a 0.5 if I wanted it to be less than one. So then I can click away and we can watch it again. I'll hit that zero key again. And now it's going to be happening less than one time per second. So basically what this means is it's going to happen one time every two seconds because we put in a 0.5. So now you can see the sway is much more slow and looks a little bit more like a gentle breeze um, rather than the flower wiggling on its own. So this is exactly the look I was going for. And now because I, you know, got my expression perfect for the first flower, all I have to do is come in here, left click, hit control C to copy that expression. And then I'll come over to my flower two, hit the R key, Alt click the stopwatch and hit control V to paste that same expression in for flower two. Let's do the same thing for flower three. So I'll select flower three, hit the R key, Alt click the stopwatch, hit control V to paste the expression. Perfect. So now let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit that zero key to do a quick little RAM preview. And what's great is that now, even though all of those flowers are swaying at the same rate and um, the same amount of rotation as they sway, they're all going a little bit differently because Wiggle is going to do this at random. So what's beautiful about that is that it does not look like you just went in and copied and pasted keyframes like it would if you'd maybe set up the wiggle for the first one. Then they would all be looking exactly the same. This makes it look much more random and much more lifelike. Okay, so this is looking great. Let's come back in our next lesson and begin to animate the text for this. So we'll just be kind of scrolling down where we have all these letters hidden and locked and we'll be animating those back into our shot.